Hi there. My name is Rose Marijn, and I'm the founder of the Healer Academy. In this video, I'm going to take you to how to heal with a flichamepper. I don't know the name in English, but with a thing that hits the flies. You know, very often we think that we need certain specific tools for healing. We need that fancy guitar. We need that perfect drum. We need that expensive crystal. But in the end, healing can be done with anything. And everything that you need right now is within you. But it is also outside of you. So if it helps you to grab an object to facilitate healing in sight, then just have a look around right now in the room and see which object draws your attention. Once you have that object, in this case it was this one for me today, I think it's about two euros, maybe less. It's just lying around most of the day and today was waiting to be used, not to hit flies on the head, but for other purposes. So once you have that object, just feel, just feel what your authentic self wants to do with it. What is it that it feels like doing? So for me, in case of the Flieger Mapper, I feel like doing this in my energetic field around my third eye. I feel like doing some stuff around my right ear, some movement or waving, whatever you prefer to call it. I feel like opening up the hand and releasing some stuff in my hand. And somehow I feel like incorporating some sound. And there I am doing a session with a Vlieger effort. Let me show you another potential use. Great for relaxation of the muscles. Tapping has been scientifically proven to be a great tool for when the muscles are tight and relaxed and also for energy to flow and for toxins that have built up in the muscles to release. So we can tap a little bit. I can tap on my forehead to release a little bit there. So there's two ways how to heal with a flicham effort, but I'm sure you can think of many more with the item you have in your hand. And that is how healing works. It is the constant question of how can we remind ourselves that we are cool within? How can we just play with what's around us? And when play is your focus and not healing, then you will see that healing automatically happens. Because playing is the most safe thing to do. When you play, it reminds yourself of, hey, I'm, I'm good, I'm safe, there's nothing that I need to do. There's nothing that needs to be fixed, there's nothing that needs to be healed. So the power of play is massive. So just for today, and hopefully also for tomorrow and the days to come, I invite you to have a look around and see what is inviting you in the surroundings to play and see what you want to do with it. Let me know how this video resonated with you. Let me know which item you picked. I would love to hear it. And yeah, I think we can all learn from each other in creative, fun ways. Let's play together. Sometimes we say we heal each other and we carry each other home, but I would like to say we play together like children. I used to have this children, this um, t-shirt, which says everything is fine as long as the children are still playing. So make sure that you or children are still playing. Thanks for watching guys, girls, and uh, sending you so much love.